could see that the story was really fascinating to me. And I started doing all this research. I started going online uh, and also going to the New York Public Library. And there's all these side stories that were just as fascinating. The story I wanted to tell you was about Michael Oliver. Now, Michael Oliver is, uh, was a businessman from Las Vegas. He was a rich uh, realty businessman, lots of money, and he didn't want to pay taxes, you know. So he came up with this great idea. He was going to make his own country and then move all his assets to there. And so he hired these red ships to go to the Minerva Reef. But I'm actually not going to finish telling this story. I'm going to show it to you, okay? So uh, if you give me a sec. Um, if, if you think of all these suitcases as the uh, Tongan Islands, this is Tongatapu, that's Ata, there's Iapu, and these are the rest of the islands, then the Minervan Reef is actually up in, in that direction, so hold on. So the Minervan Reef would be kind of up here. Tavita takes me to this prisoner's island, don't expect it. And I meet Manu, who, who grew up in LA. And the, the story I have to tell you about this was so important that I really wanted to get the, all the facts exact. And so I decided that I'm going to draw you a map. And I, I started drawing this map, uh, and to make it exact, I made it one to one scale. But, but then I ran into all these problems. Um, <laughs> 
So I'm going to show you what I have in the map. Um, hold on. Uh, it's too big. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's too big, so I've got to take it back there to show you. But I, I've got this pair of binoculars that I'll pass out. You can, you can right now a little bit more about the jester but obviously he doesn't feel like talking tonight I'm sorry about that also <laughs> <laughs> but I can tell you what happened with him he eventually went back uh, to Tonga he had built he had paid to have a monument built he was going there for the dedication but then the market it was the turn of the century and the market was collapsing and so everyone in Tonga there's all these rumors passing around about the jester stole all the money the jester stole all the money. The jester stole all the money. So he spent a few days trying to explain what was going on, but he couldn't convince anyone, and no one would let him see the king anymore. So he hightailed it out of there. He went back to the U.S. Never went back to Tonga again. He got sued. He had to settle for 1.5 million dollars that he didn't have. He had his financial license taken from the U.S. by the U.S. government. And two weeks ago. From today, he declared bankruptcy. Thank you. <laughs>